Hello Year 7 and welcome to your final lesson of half term and your final lesson of Fantastic Places and we have decided to finish with Australia and we've got three parts to our lesson as always. The first part of our lesson is we are going to describe the physical geography of a beach called Bondi Beach which is in Australia. The second part of our lesson is us explaining the impacts of uh, Bondi, Bondi Beach on Australia's economy. So what is happening to Australia's economy because of Bondi Beach and then finally we're going to look at just how good those opportunities and those impacts of Bondi Beach are for Australia. So the three things that you're going to need today for this lesson are a pen or a pencil, some paper and some colours for our final task. So moving on. Bondi Beach is found in the southeast of Australia as you can see down here in this corner. It's quite near to three other beaches and it is by the city of Sydney, which is not the capital of Australia. Instead, Canberra is the capital of Australia, but it's not on this map. So we're not going to ask you to describe the location of Australia this week or the location of Bondi Beach, because you've had lots of practice of that task in the last five weeks. So we're going to move straight on to talking about how Bondi Beach was formed. And this is really important information for your future lessons in geography. So we will start off with this diagram. So this diagram shows us a wave hitting the beach. You can see the yellow bit here is the sand and the blue bit is the water. Waves are made of two different stages. And the first stage is called the swash and the second stage is called the backwash. So when the wave moves up the beach following this arrow here, that is called the swash. So the swash moves up the beach and it will always drop sand when it hits the land. The backwash is this arrow here coming back into the ocean. So the backwash is when the wave comes back down the beach and sometimes it can take the sand away. If the wave has lots of energy in the backwash, it will move the sediment away from the beach. When I use the word sediment, it just means sand and rocks. Beaches will only be formed when there is a constructive wave. So this means that the swash, the movement up the beach, has to be stronger than the backwash, which is the movement down the beach. The wave needs more energy going up the beach to drop its sediment than it coming down the beach, which takes that sediment away. What I want you to do is I want you to have a go now at recreating this diagram. You need to make sure you have the arrows and you need to have space to write some words above each arrow. There are some labels here in this yellow box and I want you to add these labels to the correct part of your diagram. So for example, we know that the arrow going up the beach is the swash. So you would write here the wrong swash because it is a constructive wave. If you are working at grades five to six, I want you to try and pick the most important part of the wave which builds the beach, which is the crucial bit of that wave that means that a beach would not form without it. And then finally, if a constructive wave adds material, what must a destructive wave do? This is for you if you are working at a grade seven or above. If a constructive wave adds material, what would a destructive wave do? Think about swash and backwash and how strong they might be for each wave. Moving on to the second part of our learning journey then now is the links between Bondi Beach and Australia's economy. We all love to go to the beach, so it's important to think about how many visitors that Bondi Beach attracts. And it attracts more than millions and millions every single year because of tourism. But that is not the only way that it makes money. Yes, you have to pay to travel to the uh, beach. You might have to pay for ice creams and surfboards and things like that while you're there. But there are different ways that Bondi Beach as an area makes money for Australia. If you look on class charts, there is a newspaper article. This is about tourism and industry around Bondi Beach. I want you to read through this article and think about the information you are being given. Any words that you don't understand or that I think you might be a bit confused about, I've highlighted in the bold text and I've put a glossary at the bottom of the article. So if you don't understand a word, check that glossary first. If there's any extra ones, maybe ask someone at home or use the internet to try and help you out a little bit. So working at grades three and four, I want you to read the article and pick three points from that article, which shows how Bondi might help the economy. So you might look for the exact number of tourists. You might look for businesses that have opened and put that as a bullet point to show, to show how Bondi helps the economy. 
Then moving into grades five and six, I want you to be thinking about at a secure level, what is the most important way that the beach helps develop Australia's economy? So for example, tourism is good, but will it last forever? Or is there another industry that might make money in the longer term? And then finally, for grade seven and above, the area around Bondi has a really young population. I want you to find the evidence to support this in the article and then explain why it is good to have a young population that live in your area. Try and link it to employment. Finally then, the last part of our learning journey is about how sustainable and how useful this jobs, these job opportunities are in Australia and for Bondi Beach. We know that tourism is great. It is a tertiary industry like you learned about in the Dubai lesson. And it can make lots more money than farming, fishing and factory work. However, it isn't very reliable because things can happen that might contribute to the loss of tourism and therefore the economy. There are two video links on um, the Clash Charts assignment you have been given. I want you to open them and have a look at the videos and try and think about different ways that Australia's economy might have been affected in the last couple of years. Do that now. Your task then is that you have to imagine you have been appointed as Bondi Beach's tourism chief and after the consequences of the Australian wildfires and the bushfires, you need to try and bring tourists back to Bondi Beach to start making money again. So you need to now create some advertising material to promote the area and bring the tourists back. Now, I have put a template of a poster on Clash Charts. This includes all the information that I want to see in your poster. You can use the template to structure it, to use the same presentation, or you can just use it as a prompt to know what you need to include in your poster. If you want to be mastered, I want you to try and do it without the template and in make sure you can include advice on how people can prevent this natural hazard from happening in the future. I want this is your last piece of work in the Fantastic Places topic. I want you to get as creative and as fancy as you like with this poster. You can do it by hand and you can do it on the computer if you wish. However you do it, I want you to do it in a really neat way that means that your teacher can see all the fantastic work that you have been building up to over this half term and over this topic. I want to see lots of pictures, lots of colour and lots of information that you have learned in this lesson. Do this task now. And that brings us to the end of your lesson today. In terms of uploading your work, I want you to upload the labelled constructive wave diagram because this is super important in being able to describe physical geography that you are going to see a lot over the next few years of your time here at Hodge Hill College. And I also want you to upload your Bondi Beach tourism poster because this will help me see that you have understood the impacts of Bondi Beach on the economy and that you have been able to assess how useful these opportunities are. If you have completed secure and mastered versions of these tasks, please make sure you upload these in your homework and um, have identified this to your teacher so they know what level you are working at. Well done for participating in your home learning and we look forward to seeing and marking your work.